Hey everyone, my name is Gareth. I just recently moved to LA from Oslo, right actually before all this stuff started happening. And now I'm living here and I've got a lot of time on my hands. So I figured why not talk about some of the things I care about. Um, and what I mean by that is talk about clothing, fashion or style, however you, you want to say it. And just, you know, tidbits from my life. This first video is probably going to be just about like my week. Uh, and what's going on and uh, yeah that'll probably include these weeks at least it'll probably include a lot of sitting eating maybe putting on some different clothes yeah so uh, let's get into it Outfit two of the day, three, two, three, baggy, cropped, slippers. everyone today is today i figured i would talk specifically about three three <laughs> three uh pairs of pants that i'm especially loving right now and not only pants in general but three pair of baggy pants that i've been wearing quite a bit lately as i've transitioned a lot from more like tailored products to baggier products uh, the baggier products. I just, I, I don't know. I think I start getting in the baggier, like especially pants. Um, probably like a year ago, a year, yeah, a year, year and a half ago, I really started like getting interested in it. But all my clothes in my wardrobe were tailored and I don't really buy so much new clothing I, so often, especially when I lived in Norway because even secondhand shops can be a little bit pricey. Um, so, uh, I waited up in the last summer when I came here, I started finding some uh, thrift stores that I really loved and some secondhand shops and consignment shops that I really loved here in LA um, and was able to find some pretty sick uh, baggy pants to try out. So today I'm just going to be showing you three of them and yeah, so let's get into it. So first I have these, um, these Ben Shermans, they are such a sick pair of pants really nice and all of these pants fit high-waisted as well that's something i probably didn't say but like high-waisted is something that i love i've been wearing high-waisted pants for like five or six years it's so great that i can finally find some that are like my size as well before when i first started wearing them I, there were like none that i could find that fit me anywhere so i often had to wear like uh maybe like shop at, like maybe look at the women's section and stuff like that and then maybe i find them but then they were always like they sat with maybe a little bit weird so it was really great to finally find some great highway pants i found these at the bearded beagle over on north figueroa street over in highland park actually one of my favorite uh, vintage shops or thrift stores out here in in la by far i find when it comes to like oversized clothing uh They've really got great boxy fits. I'll definitely try to maybe make a video about that in the future, go over there and show some of the stuff they have or show actually some of the more stuff from my wardrobe that, that I have of it. But yes, these first pants are Ben Davis Gorilla Cut pants, as you can see here. I mean, like, it's so cool. Like, they're, they're just so straight. They're so wide. They're so, like, even just the legs are just so wide like check that out i mean they're they're massive uh and they fit great they really like blow really well flow well in the wind they blow well in the wind and you know ben davis is 
primarily a workwear brand. Uh, they do fray a little bit. I feel like as far as the workwear section of it goes, they haven't been as crazy as I thought they would be, like how durable they would be. Um, I haven't worn them so much and they've been pilling a lot. And I tend to take quite good care of my clothes. I try not to wash them too often. I try not to put them in harm's way. But yeah, you can just see like little details of maybe pilling here in the camera. I don't know if you can see it, but like, yeah. Just a little bit interesting. Still love these pair of pants. I often wear them with a gray t-shirt, for instance, just like something to keep it a little bit monotone. I love monotone looks, so I can definitely do monotone looks with that. The second pair of pants I want to talk about are these uh, Bojo pants. Uh, I think this is called Bojo. I don't really know so much about this brand. I picked them up at this shop called Soft Humans. Soft Human Shop, it's another second hand shop here in LA. Uh, these are really great. They're a little bit balloony. Um, and I, I'm not such a fan of like a balloony shape in the butt, but I often wear like a large oversized like black t-shirt or a large oversized black item on top just so then I, I can cover that aspect a little bit or wear it tucked in. Like I, I, don't, I don't mind the balloony butt actually all that much. But these are great. They've really got like a long crotch, so you can wear them quite high-waisted as well, which is really great. Um, love it. And then they cut off on the bottom a little bit short. So I I think that's quite cool, actually. Like with certain pants, these ones especially, they're so wide that, um, they're so wide that I don't mind them being like a little bit like kind of a gap between the pant and the shoe because then I'll just wear like a really slick, like black sock underneath it. And it'll create like this really cool, like <laughs> form. I think it's quite cool at least. Um, yeah, double buttoned, really neat. Um, and they've got quite a cool waistband as you can see. Quite uh, how thick. And then yeah, of course they've got the pleats in the front, which I didn't talk about, but I've got these pleats here. Really cool on both sides. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And these kind of have like a black color. They, these are black, but they almost have like a green tint in certain lights. It's like a, I don't know what you'd call it. Maybe somebody else knows, but like, I really love these pants. The third pair of pants I want to talk about are these Cherokee workwear pants. These things are just loose baggy really great for wearing here in LA as they're quite like as they're quite let's see if I can get in on the tag but these things are quite blousey they on the pocket front they're not the greatest I don't have any pocket over here or here on the sides I do have one back pocket here and then a small side pocket a larger side pocket which work out great enough but like when it comes to wearing these out in public and when you're lounging around i can tend to drop things out of my pocket which can suck a little bit and as you can see like these are quite large on me they're they're probably like a 4xl or something which is a little bit large for my waist uh so i'll tighten them in really tight uh and I can wear them up high if I'm wearing something long over them as well, uh, which creates this kind of nice effect around the foot. But I can also like wear them lower in the waist, which will allow them to drape over the shoe quite nicely. So this is all together like just like a really nice, blousey, comfy pair of pants. And yeah, those were the three pair of baggy pants I wanted to talk about today. Uh, and actually all three of those pair I was able to find secondhand. First pair from Bearded Beagle with Figueroa. Second pair from Small Human Shop here in LA as well. Uh, and the third pair was from the Bearded Beagle as well, actually. So I, those are the three pants for today. today mostly been sitting around the house and I'll probably sit around the house for the rest of the, the day and 
then tomorrow I will actually probably sit around the house mm, some more. So that's really fun. My outfit, today I'm wearing uh, old Walmart purchase of, of, that my mom made. Old uh, secondhand, just I think it's a Gildan's college sweater. Some secondhand Ralph Lauren khakis. A friend gave me actually back in Australia a few years ago. And then I'm just wearing some slippers from that were left over from a photo shoot we had with the American Indian Hotel in Oslo. This branding for them was designed by the company I used to work in. All right, now I'm gonna start gaming. Hey guys, it's Thursday. It's Wednesday. Anyway, this is the bedhead look. This is the wake up look for today. This pendant here is from a friend's brand back in also actually called Boy Gal. Uh, really cool brand, Boy Gal. You can check them out on Instagram. I'll link them below. Mom's earring. Who's that man? My teeth are really green. It's because I'm drinking some breakfast. Uh, spirulina mixed with like some yogurt and peanut butter and, and blueberries and banana. Quite tasty. Just two. Yeah, not all. <laughs> hey all, it is Thursday. <laughs> Um, not a lot has happened the past few days. I just realized I was I was filming for quite a while without it recording. So yes, that is what has been happening <laughs> today. No, uh, the past few days I really haven't been up to so much. I've been playing Call of Duty, uh, Warzone, and uh, also playing The Sims 4, building an underground pool and a property surrounded by cypress trees. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's mostly what I've been doing the past few days. Um, editing some photos right now on my computer, some photos I've taken from a while back and such. Uh, I'm not getting up to so much today. Today is like kind of a sloppy day. I've been wearing this a few days this week as like my get out of bed outfit. Uh, so wearing like a bucket hat to cover up like any greasy hair that I might have, <laughs> which I definitely do. Uh, also, this uh, these acne sunglasses. Really loving these. They're the Antiums, I believe they're called Antium. Uh, really cool frame on these. I, I never really thought I would get aviators, but I just love the shape of this frame uh, specifically. Then I've got some my rings, kind of my day to day ring set. Generally wear the same exact ones all the time. Um, yeah, and all these are pretty much either like bought from consignment shops or hand-me-downs. Like this is my grandpa's wedding ring and this was my mom's ring. Uh, this was a woman that my other grandpa took care of for a while and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm wearing this vintage t-shirt from this shop called Beaux-Arts Vintage in, in France. A uh, really cool shop, really great owner. Uh, he collects a lot of cool things, so it's got this graphic on the front. And then on the back, it's got the, more like the tour side of it. Nice colors. And then we're in a uh, shoelace belt and these beautiful high-waisted uh, jeans from Guess. Uh, actually found these, found these for like a dollar fifty, two bucks or something at a Goodwill Pound shop here in LA and they're just, they're great. So yeah, that's today. I think I'm gonna get back to editing some photos and see if the day brings anything interesting. All right, it's Saturday evening. My hair is out of control, growing a little mullet back here. I just had some spaghetti for dinner. 
Uh, and I think I'm going to leave it here for this week. I'm going to publish another episode probably next week sometime. I'm not sure which day yet I want to land on. But next week I'll be back. Till then, hope you're keeping safe. Gareth loves you.